Um, so just give me a few seconds just to find out where it's going to be the best position for us to put the vehicle. We're just going to position ourselves. It looks like one of the Matimba males. I'm just going to ask um, one of the guides which which lioness it is. Sean coming. Confirm this is one of the black white fuzzies. Mm so guys, there's just confirmation from Sean from Arethusa. Um, Sean says this is one of the, the breakaway lionesses. So this is very interesting. So very similar uh, to leopards, lions also mate every 15 minutes or so. So they mate every 15 minutes or so, very similar to, to, to leopards. Um, so I'm not sure when the last time they mated was, but there's a very strong chance that they're going to mate again very soon. So they will do this for up to four or five days. And it was very it's unusual that they eat during this period. Uh, they'll normally, they will drink, but it's unusual that they eat. So by the end of their, their mating, they can be quite hungry. So guys, um, remember you can ask us questions while we're live out here on Game Drive, and you can do that by, by emailing uh, questions at wildearth.tv or just use the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter.
Good afternoon, Donna uh, from Missouri. So, Donna is asking that if this Salala Braco female, at, at, because she's mating with a, a Matimba male, and she has cubs from uh, from that uh, union, uh, and she's now and goes back towards where more traditionally her, her pride hangs out, which is in the Majingalan territory. Um, would would the Majingalan males be able to smell that those cubs are, are from another male um, and would they kill them? I don't think they'd be able to smell, Donna. Uh, possibly um, if they don't remember mating with her or cannot remember mating with her, they might kill those cubs. Um, or in certain circumstances, she might even remember mating with her, they might kill those cubs. Um, or in certain circumstances, she might even break away again from the breakaway uh, and, and raise the cubs off separately. Unusual though. And leopards too. Every five minutes. Every 15, every 20 minutes. And it depends on how many days they've been mating for. So if it's really early, it's generally quite quick. If it's the first or second day, which I believe this is the first day. Um, but as it gets sort of fourth, fifth day, it can even go between half an hour, 45 minutes between them mating. But as an average, you can work on about 15 minutes. Good afternoon, Arcee from the Netherlands. Arcee would like to know what that flower plant is in front of the lioness. Arcee, it looks like a dry and dead wild foxglove. Uh, it looks like a, a, a dry wild foxglove. And what we're seeing there are the remnants of what would have sold the, uh, held the seeds. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a foxglove, but it is now uh, died. It's a only out during the summer months in the, the, the rainy season when it is quite wet so as we move towards the dry area it has expired wild foxglove and I used to know the Latin name for it but I can't remember anymore I think I just saw that cut. Remember that scar on the inside of one of the Matima males? Yep, that's it. So he's the dominant one, would you say? Uh, all the other ones just not around when he found the lioness and estrus. Good afternoon, Kathy from Tennessee. Uh, Kathy has asked me to explain um, the blonde versus dark maned male lions. Uh, again, I have explained it before and what the lioness looks for when she's mating. So Kathy, this is quite recent, recent and, and quite groundbreaking uh, research that's being done. And I was very fortunate to be involved And so basically, what we what they did was, as they put uh, a sort of dark, um, dark, and then the interloper actually started sort of showing uh, 
and uh, and a lioness, and the, the the reaction was completely different. That dark man male saw another dark man male in his territory, and he charged in and literally ripped the stuff lion to pieces. And the the lioness he was with joined in and went for the, a traditional sort of throat grab on the on on the on the line it was absolutely incredible um, and so they're, they're trying to prove now obviously it's I said it's quite recent the females prefer males with darker manes because they've got higher testosterone levels and they're more aggressive um, which possibly means that the the cubs they have with them will have a better chance of survival mentioned a bit earlier but no worries we'll just keep 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 updating and uh, Colin would like to know how, how many days uh, do lions mate for on average it's about four or five four or five days is the general sort of amount of time that they'll mate for Good afternoon, Gail. Um, Gail would like to know whether I've ever come across any sterile lions. Well, Gail, it's quite difficult to, to, to see, um, especially um, when lions are mating, especially when they're coalitions. The female often will mate with three or four of the individuals over a couple of days or a week or two period. Um, so it's, it's very difficult uh, with a wild animal to see whether it's sterile. So I, I, I'm afraid I, I, I can't answer that. While I was playing touch rugby this afternoon, okay. so I said, "Well, that's definitely that's changed my plans for this evening. I'm definitely going to come across and try help you guys find them again." And I was actually following the tracks. Um, except the other guys were coming from the other direction and they found them before me. So we were quite lucky that they found them quite, quite early on and instead of them heading south away from the area we are allowed to drive, we are very thankful that they came north. Um, so that was our plan for the afternoon and it's always great when a plan comes together uh, and so now we're here sitting with the, the mating the mating pair of lines and we're just waiting for them to actually mate though um, I'm going to stand by here patiently and remember guys this is a completely interactive live show um, you are able to email and ask questions and there are two different ways to do that um, and you can you can either email us on questions at wildearth.tv um, 
or you can just use the hashtag Safari Live if you're on Twitter. And guys, also, um, if you'd like to, just let us know where you're from in the world. It's always fascinating to know uh, all the different places in the world that actually might be on Game Drive with us. Good afternoon, Debbie, uh, on Twitter. She'd like me to call, uh, just explain what I meant when I said a bra the breakaway line is. So she is part uh, of the Talala Pride originally, which, occur, uh, which generally their territory is quite a, f a bit further south than this. Um, and then The, the four adult lionesses from the Tsalala, it's called either they called either the Tsalala Breakaway Pride or the Mangen Pride. Um, and I think other people used to call her Bibi, um, which I presume means or uh, Bibi, which is a Swahili word for. Um, grandmother but uh, anyway um, we used to call her the tailors and she had lost her her tail to hyenas and she led those four adults when they were uh, I think sub adults um, away from that area where there was new male lions moving in uh, and moved them north and that's how they got the name the Salada breakaway pride because they broke away from the original Salada pride they have a name Mangen pride um, I'm not quite sure whether it's because there's a, a road down south, a place I used to work, called, well, oh, sorry, a drainage line, called the Mangen Drainage, and it's possible uh, they might have spent quite a lot of time in the, or in and around the Mangen Drainage when they did, when they broke away from the original pride. I thought we were going to get some action there for a second. Well, good evening, Julia, on Twitter. Uh, Julia would like to know whether blinds mate so much because of induced ovulation. Um, basically, uh, with most of your big cats, their, their penises are actually barbed, uh, and this is a has a dual effect. That they do in, induce ovulation, and they do have uh, actually quite often they do not get impregnated from mating, so they actually mate multiple times to eventually get pregnant. But the ovulation does come come around very quickly. But with the, the male lion's barbed penis, it has a double function. Um, obviously, it helps to ensure to try to keep his uh, semen inside and his penis inside while he is mating with her. And the second thing is, especially in the beginning, if there has been any other male lion mating before him, that barb is can hook out the other male semen that's inside. There's a bit um, more that I could say about the, the, the mating process and that, but I'd, I'd rather wait till we can actually see it and then be able to explain it better. And I think it'd be far, far, far better if we wait for them to mate before we start uh, going too in depth.
Good evening, Carol. Thank you for your email. Uh, Carol asked, uh, do they eat during this four or five days? And will they hunt together? Uh, Carol, generally they don't. Um, as I said a bit earlier in the drive, they generally don't eat for this, the time that they're mating. But as with all predators, they are opportunists. If something happens upon them, they're definitely not going to say no. So I know guys, it might look like the lions are just sleeping at the moment, but um, as I've said many times before, uh, one of the most important things in seeing those really, really great sightings, the most important weapon in your arsenal is patience. Oh. But lions are generally very lazy animals and they will sleep for an average of about 20 hours a day. The strong wind is, has died down slightly. It is a little bit warmer just from the wind, but I was getting really cold earlier. So, as I said this morning, you can never ever be a hundred percent sure on your predictions and how long things are going to take up in the bush, because uh, we read all the books and we write all the books. That animals have don't have to listen to them and can pretty much do whatever they would like. Good afternoon, Sandy from Missouri. Sandy, uh, Sandy would like to know, do lions get preyed on by other animals such as hyenas? Um, and while they're mating, is it a particularly vulnerable time for them? Well, Sandy, not really. Um, hyenas, leopards, um, cheetah, wild dog, if they find lion cubs that are away from the, the adults or sub-adults, they will definitely kill them. Um, other than that, it's only really when an animal is sick or injured uh, that they become, and probably then even I think a leopard would avoid a sick or injured lion, lioness, wouldn't try attack, but that's when the hyenas would. But generally, no, nothing really preys on, on lions. So, while we're sitting here waiting for these felines to do something, have a look up here. This is a slightly more difficult one than usual. Um, so if you look, it's got quite large leaves. Um, they are turning at the moment. Um, and there's quite a lot of these 
trees around here um, but you can see they've got quite nice big leaves if you zoom out a little bit please there Andrew you can see the, the bark so who can tell me what tree that is and you can send your answers to questions at wildearth.tv or use the hashtag safari live on twitter So guys, I know it is a bit slow at the moment, but if we leave and try to come back now, the chances of actually getting to see them mating would uh, be much less. As I said, patience is very, very important when it comes to, to seeing the really good sightings. And um, they have been mating. They mated just before we got in there, or when before we arrived. So I, I know it might be a bit slow, but guys, I really do recommend if you guys want to see um, the mating that we should stay but it is up to you guys so why don't you let me know whether you'd like me to go look for something else uh, you can do that by sending me an email um, or sending an email to questions at wildearth.tv or you can use the hashtag safari live on twitter <laughs> 